Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to delete a sub account or location from your Hololive account. All right, so the first thing you need to make sure is that you are in the agency view right here and you will be able to see the agency dashboard and sub account view here. So if you have to click on the sub accounts here, and then over to the right, you can scroll in the list to find your sub account or you could also search it at the top here by typing the name. Once the sub account comes up, you have to click on these three dots right next to the switch to sub account button. So click on these three dots and then click on manage client. Once the screen opens up, you have to click on the actions button over to the top right and then click on delete. Once you click on delete, it will give you a disclaimer. If it does have some numbers or A2P campaign set up, it will also give you a disclaimer for that. And then it will also ask you to confirm a couple of things. The first one is that you have discussed this change with the client. So if your sub account or location was for an actual client, maybe they have left your agency. It just wants to ensure that you've discussed it with them. Of course, if they have left it, you can delete it. Or maybe the sub account was a mistake, or maybe you had it set up for testing. So in that case, just confirm this. And then you also have to check mark this, which is I understand this action is reversible and all data inside the sub account will be lost and once you've checked mark this you have to click on delete the account and it will also again give you a disclaimer because it wants to make sure that you're not doing this by mistake so you have to check mark i confirm that i've stopped all automations of the sub account and then you have also disconnected the integrations by twilio mailgun or any other integrations that you've had in the sub account and then you have to type delete here and then you can also choose to close the associated Twilio sub account and delete all phone numbers. So once you have completed all these settings, you can click on schedule for deletion. It does not delete the sub account right away because it still wants to give you a chance in case you want the sub account back. So this is just a safety net and it will show you the date and time when this sub account will be completely gone. So before this time, you'll still have an option to reverse this and you can click on stop deletion operation or if you are satisfied with this setting, you can go ahead and close it. So this is how easy it was to delete a sub account or a location. If you still run into any issues, feel free to contact high level support.